The Nintendo Switch has been praised for its versatility and ability to offer fun both at home and on the go. With the Switch's growing popularity and ever-expanding player base, AAA game developers are increasingly interested in bringing their games to the platform. That's why in today's video I bring you 10 AAA games that will be released for the Switch in the second half of 2024. Never break, always fight. Starring Princess Zelda, who has the mission to save Hyrule from mysterious interdimensional rifts, Echoes of Wisdom features an overhead perspective similar to the classic 2D games in the series, and an art style similar to the remake of Zelda Link's Awakening. Unlike Link, Zelda uses a staff given to her by a fairy known as Tri, which is capable of creating echoes that range from common objects to complete puzzles, with several different solutions, to recreations of enemies to fight alongside her during combat. According to the developers, The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom will have a gameplay very different from the rest of the franchise, focused on the use of magic. With her magic staff, she creates copies of objects to overcome challenges. For example, by analyzing a table, Zelda can create copies of it in the world to reach higher places. Bringing a visual style with slight cel-shading elements, Mario & Luigi Brothership promises to continue being a traditional RPG with turn-based battles. It also brings back a set of more active actions that can be performed to increase attack power, activate special powers, or dodge enemies. The Mario & Luigi Brothership release trailer also confirms the return of the humor that marked the series. Although the green-capped brother is as skilled as the franchise's protagonist, he is also known for being more clumsy and not always getting what he tries to do. As Nintendo itself recalled in its announcement, the new game is the first chapter the series has received since 2015, when Paper Jam debuted on the Nintendo 3DS. However, it does not consider the remakes of Superstar Saga and Bowser's Insider Story, which arrived on the handheld in 2017 and 2018 respectively. The new game in the Mario Party franchise promises to be the biggest title in the franchise, with over 110 mini-games and online matches for up to 20 players. The title arrives exclusively on the Nintendo Switch on October 17th. The game will have five new game boards, including Rainbow Galleria, Rollem Raceway, and Goomba Lagoon. In the same way, the title brings two game modes. The company highlighted a wide variety of mini-games. Some mini-games are action-packed tests, speed tests, or tests of wisdom, and much more. Some are controlled with smooth movements or tilting the Joy-Con controls. Whether to test your reflexes, reasoning, luck, or teamwork, Super Mario Party Jamboree brings a wide variety of fun matches. Finally, Nintendo also left a taste of what's to come by indicating that the game will have more game modes. However, the Japanese company did not reveal what they are. Capcom has officially announced Ace Attorney Investigations Collection for the Nintendo Switch. The release will be on September 6, 2024. It is a collection with Ace Attorney Investigations Miles Edgeworth and Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Gambit, both originally released for Nintendo DS. The second game, in fact, had never reached the West. In Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth, players control Edgeworth as he puts his investigative prowess to the test, determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. In Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Gambit, players must prepare for an even greater challenge as Edgeworth faces new enemies and battles for his right to remain a prosecutor. Throughout these cases, players will also learn to find inconsistencies in witness statements, piece together evidence, and uncover hidden information in mind chess. Darkest Dungeon 2 is a turn-based roguelite journey of the damned. Form a group, equip your diligence, and set out across the decaying landscape on a last-minute mission to prevent an apocalypse caused by your own failures. The biggest dangers you face, however, may come from within the group. 
The Darkest Dungeon sequel features all new 3D visuals in the distinctive style, a new race-based travel structure, an improved version of the innovative turn-based combat system, a dozen playable heroes, each with their own five chapters. Backstory, five regions, five final bosses, and a metagame hub, the Altar of Hope, with extensive persistent upgrades. That a fragile flame, long guttered by sour winds, can blaze radiant once again. The time has come to face your failures, or be consumed by them. Super Evil Megacorp has announced that its roguelike action game based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles will be released for Switch in July, where it will have exclusivity for some time before coming out on other consoles and PC. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate is the first roguelike game in the Ninja Turtles franchise, in which up to four players playing cooperatively online must go through reality-bending portals to rescue Master Splinter from the clutches of the terrible Shredder and his Foot Clan. It is also possible to take on the adventure alone if you prefer. Each stage is based on memorable locations from the Ninja Turtles New York City and has the potential to be altered with custom increments, which allows you to change their layouts. There are also modifiers for the bosses. Level 5 will release its next AAA titled Fantasy Life Eye, The Girl Who Steals Time, an RPG in which players start a new life on a mysterious island. There, there are several professions in the game called Lives that they can become, such as Fisherman, Cook, Paladin, Lumberjack, among others. The more lives a player learns, the more things they will be able to experience. As the player explores the island, they will be able to have fun in the simulator and advance the story at their own pace. On the game's official page, it is mentioned that the player can collect resources in the past and use them to improve the island in the present, which is probably related to the mysterious girl who can control time in the game. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day Cat Quest 3 promises to be the perfect light-hearted cooperative experience when the game is released on International Cat Day, August 8th. In the game, our hero is a caramel kitten in a proposal that mixes adventure games with RPGs in a light way. Clothing attributes, diverse equipment, and levels, however, in an uncomplicated, very basic way. The colorful visuals looked like they came out of a children's book, and our hero walked around the map with its charming border divisions. However, to his detriment, only one player wandered through the solitary journey. The charm permeates every moment of the game, which has visuals above its predecessors, the lower camera and advanced 3D effects of the two-dimensional sprites that roam freely through this semi-open world. Navigating the bright sea is fast and does not depend on wind or accessories. You see a region? Then you can get there. Tokyo Zanadu is an action RPG that tells the story of a group of teenagers who get involved in sinister events. Ten years have passed since a colossal earthquake devastated Tokyo. Although the city has been rebuilt, portals to a dark world called Eclipse have been appearing in the region without ordinary people realizing what is happening. It is up to the group to use special powers to deal with monsters that appear in this mysterious area. The EX Plus version is a more complete version of the game and includes additional stories, extra areas, and the playable character, White Shroud. In addition, a boss battle mode allows you to face the bosses in boss rush style. Maximum Entertainment and Zero Game Studio have announced that their racing game Hot Lap Racing will be released for Nintendo Switch on July 16th. Real cars, real tracks, real drivers, you for real, is the game's promise, bringing the thrill of real competition. 
In hot lap racing, players will have the opportunity to drive mythical cars on legendary tracks that have marked the history of motorsport. The story mode will allow players to find celebrities who made the golden days of the sport. Hot Lap Racing is categorized as a Simcade racing game, powered by an internally developed racing physics engine exclusively for the title. The game invites players to discover the history of motorsport, from GTs and prototypes to historic Formula One. As a bonus, I bring Gundam Breaker 4 hack and slash style action game where we break down enemy robots and collect their parts. With them, we can customize our robots with the goal of building more powerful mobile suits or specific combinations. One of the focuses of the title is to introduce a novelty in the series, where players can use two different types of weapons for unique combos in their search for the best pieces to build the perfect gunpla. Between battles, players access a robust mech garage where they can customize their creations with new parts as well as paint, decals, and aging. This was the list. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. I got facts over facts over tracks, this and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I can roast, I can gas, think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past. And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness, hilarious. You think you're with my time, you're delirious, mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior, inferior. You know I'll always be.